this is my new phone I'm using. I'm on a bike ride. Uh, DJ, my new $400 camera, decided to sh the bed today. So I'm not going to lose my mind over it because what is losing my mind going to do? Nothing. I cannot get DJ back. He's in my pocket. I want to throw him in the Frankfurt Crick. I'm not going to. So I'm going to have to use the phone for a few, maybe a few weeks. How do they do warranties now? I'm sure they can't do warranties now. Oh boy. I was just on this trail here. It, it goes from like Carsdale Ave to Aramingo Ave. I was on that road and it was windy. And it kind of reminded me of Steak Road in Junietta. And my question is, what the hell happened to Steak Road in Junietta? It's just like one day we were on it and the next day it's gone. I never seen a street disappear before. I'm gonna go look for Steak Road. I go go Google Steak Road. Nothing comes up. It probably wasn't called Snake Road. That's probably why I can't find anything. The is windy AF, as the kids say. So let's go for a ride through Junietta and look for Snake Road. So this here is Ramona Ave and Fisher. Lane, and this was I Street, or this was I Street. It is now a walking trail for the Taconi Creek, and this is what I believe was was the old Snake Road. I will hop on my blue Johnson and travel all of Snake Road. It's a right of passage and a drive down Snake Road with your headlights off. And I, I believe this was a two-way street. And there were not many lights. I think there were lights from like a golf course. But it, it was very, very dark. Pitch black, no street lights. So let's go for a ride. Not only down Snake Road, but a ride down memory lane. This is Snake Road up here, but there's this old bridge. I'll see if I can find the name. I was Googling it. I couldn't find out any information, but this is an oldie. So all over Snake Road are these trails, and I followed one trail, and it took me to Friends Hospital. Look at this little tree. This island of one tree. Huh. This is going to be a short video today, but... All the scenic things around Snake Road and Junietta Park. Just driving down another random trail and saw some murals. They say you can see these birds on the Delaware River. I've only seen them on Washington's Crossing one time. Look at this. I mean, alright. Pay no mind to the homeless man's encampment. But, this is pretty... You know what, if I, if I was homeless, I'd be set up right here, too. Not bad. Now we all know what this is from the cemetery video, the headstone video. This is Rip Rap, and that's to protect that. And there it is, my Blue Johnson! Oh, this is at the driving range in Junietta. This guy's cutting grass for the first time. You can barely see his wheels. Uh-oh. Uh now, he has a co-worker. Oh, this is good. There's two of them. Looking. What could be the problem? Well, Steve, I don't know what the problem... Maybe. It's not meant to mow grass uh, up to my kneecap. You see, that's my kneecap. It's, it's too high. Uh, that's the problem. There's no gas. All right, 
Oh, it sounds good. It sounds good. Oh, all of that. They have to cut all of this. <laughs> This is Furco Park. You know, for my entire life, I thought this was called Junietta Park. Uh, but the name of this park is Furco Park. Uh, the same guy the uh, string band's named after. This is also the park near the SPCA. Lots of, lots of last walks happened in this park. I also had a pet frog that I got from my grandpa's house. My grandpa had a house in New Jersey. Uh, we had a pet frog we got from his backyard, and we let it go back there somewhere. The world sucks, and you know, can't do anything. At least you're not a uh, dog when it's last walk here. I know some rules change. I know golf course is open. I don't think that's supposed to be happening. And there are, it looks like it's, well, no, it's definitely not one family. Uh-oh. There, the home of the Junietta Bears, that building. Right in that building. Um, that's kind of like a pal from when I remember. When I wrestled for pal, we wrestled in that building. Uh, it was just like a little gymnasium. When I was on that trail, I felt like I was my favorite gravel bike race driver, Dylan Johnson. Like the hat backwards. I want to get a better shot of the playground here. Uh, I don't want to seem like I'm filming kids, so I, I want to get a little bit away. I finally figured it out. This baseball field, this is Junietta Park. That's Furco Park over there. I figured out why. I figured. If only I could figure out how to say figure it. This is on Caster Ave. Caster and. Cayuga! That's how, I hope that's how you say it. But Piccolo Playground. When I was a kid, um, we would drive past here, and I always thought this was the coolest writing for a playground. Very dated now, uh, but I like that it's still here. As I sit here in Huntington Park and Kensington, I, I just want you guys to know where I'm at right now, where, where I was filming those guys with the golf course, the golf course, I say golf funny, I know, uh, that less than two miles. So, uh, we returned, oh, sh <laughs> no, maybe not, and we returned safely back to the streets of Bridesburg. Hey, if you want to help me out, there's always a link to my Patreon at the bottom of every video. Check out my merch, Tis Fire, and make sure you hit like and subscribe. <sighs> Getting old. Getting old. I, yeah, I had to go to the doctors today for blood work. Old. <sighs> but make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I'll sail with you later. Doodles!